So tomorrow we'll be seated. Let's sit. Let's have our seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can we have our seat, please? Please, can everybody just come down into the church auditorium and get seated? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today's anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 15. Amen. 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 If you have your Bible, I believe um, it's necessary that you get it. John chapter 15, verse 1. To 19. If you get the Bible, you see that these are the words of Jesus. And I read, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch that every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth, that it may bring forth more fruits. Now ye are cleansed through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. Verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Ye that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. 6, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And a man gathereth them and cast them into the fire, and they will are burned. If ye abide in me, and my word and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my father glorified that ye beareth much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 11, verse 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide. Verse 9. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. 10. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments Amen. and abide in his love. Amen. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be filled, full. Amen. Amen. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Amen. Amen. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his father doeth, what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Amen. 15, Amen. 14, ye are my friends, if, okay, verse 16, sorry, verse 16, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruits and that your fruit should remain. Amen. That whatever you shall, you shall ask of my father in my name, he may give it to you. Amen. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hates you, you, you know that it hurt me before it hated you. Finally, verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world will not, the world will love you. The world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world has hated you. Amen. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's an awesome to day today. So we're going to have the uh, praise and worship now to come on the floor. And it's going to be headed by um, Sister Princess. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise as we worship God. 
Hallelujah. Jesus is a winner, man. Jesus is a winner, man. Jesus is a winner.
and not showing gratitude to God. What is going on? Connect. Let the Holy Spirit flow. He's an awesome God. Amen. Testimony time. Blessing time. Can you sit down, please? Sit down, sit down, church. It's testimony time. Who's got that wonderful testimony? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm just a new member, as you've probably been seeing me a few times. My testimony was regarding, uh, I think my husband gave testimony, I remember, it's on a Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to praise God because part of it was uh, relating to our daughter, our older daughter. And we had a feeling that there was demonic tormenting in her. But we praise God because after revelation from God, in praying and working with the man of God, God revealed to me in a dream that I need to ask a question. And when I started asking a question, she started telling me that she's the things that talk to her that she couldn't understand. And there were forces telling her to do things that she didn't understand. And through prayer and through working with the man of God, I can glorify God today and say, you know what? That spirit is gone. Amen. You can see the child change. I just want to praise God because you know what? When you as a parent feel like you failed, the world looks at you like a failure. So when you know that God is there, because the Bible tells us train the children in the way that when they grow up they shall multiply. So if you fail them at the tender age, how will you correct them when they are older? And I just want to praise God for that testimony this Hallelujah. morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, church. Afternoon. I just want to thank God for the life of my last daughter. Amen. Amen. Your mother. Amen. She just come for. Amen. 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 That was on the 24th of this month. Amen. Amen. Uh, if I look at her, her active life Amen. and the circumstances surrounding her bed, I can't wait to thank God, give thanks to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for her life. And I pray God to be together and put it up for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can we sing a birthday song for the little girl? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Give their glory to their Lord. You reign. Give their glory to their Lord. Yeah. 
overcome in their life. So that as they enter the new year, they will never lack again. As they enter into the new month, they will never lack again. This month of February, they will be entering soon. We will take them along with every day favor, glory, victory, or fulfillment in every of their devil in Jesus' name. Lord, let this one that is coming be a one that will give them the ability to be able to move forward for this remaining of the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. For in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. If you know and you know that today that God is going to release what is remaining, shout a bigger amen. Shout a bigger amen. Amen. Shout a bigger amen. Amen. Praise God. And someone clap his holy heart. Clap your hand for Jesus. Clap your hand if you know that your hand is here for you. Clap it and clap it and clap it. And they can come for them to see them. And look at their side and their left and touch their level. Welcome. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is not easy. After 21 days, I thank God that so many of us have participated. I thank God for those who could not, who has participated halfway, or even those who did not participate. We thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. We have prayed for those who did not participate. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And God is, has already answered. Amen. By the grace of God, next time, in the next two months or three months, we are going to do also something like this. So I believe that you will also give in so that God will give you your own blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only that people will pray for you, we pray for all people too. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today, I know that our food is waiting for us. We don't have to waste much time. But we must hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So that we, it will keep us. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, the word I have today for every one of us, the topic is free your mind. Free your mind. Hmm. Say with me, free your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind. When we are talking about someone to free his mind or her own mind, it's the mind is the seat of everything we have. That means if your mind is not clear, if your mind is not moving well, there is nothing can move. If you are not happy with your mind, if you are not happy, everything you do, it comes through your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's why I want us to follow me to go, go to the book of John, chapter 15, beginning from 11 to 17. 11 to 17. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God speaking, John chapter 15 beginning from 11 to 17 praise god i want to read it quickly church and you just have to follow and why you read your own bible hallelujah Amen. these things have i spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full these things have i spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. What did he speak? Or he has spoken. This is my commandment. That we love one another as I have loved you. Jesus Christ is speaking. He said his commandment is what? That we should what? Love one another. Praise God. Praise God. Greater love hath no man than this. That a man lay down his life of his friends. Greater love, ye are my friends. If ye do not, if ye do whatsoever I command you, say, you are what? My friends. If you do what I have commanded you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Henceforth, I call you not servant. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father have made you known to me. He has made it known to us. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring what? Fruit. And that your fruit should what? Remain. Amen. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I commanded you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Hallelujah. Amen. And finally said, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But ye, but because ye are not of this world, remember, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you can see what God is speaking here today. The word of God is speaking to us. You see, if I go to the number 15, it says that, hence what I called you, I called you not servant for the servant knoweth not what is Lord, do it. God is saying that he is not calling us Sabbath because he has chosen us. He chooses because he knew that we are something special. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father have made known unto you. So Jesus Christ has made everything known to us. And that's why he said that in number two, he said, this is my commandment that you, you will love one another as I loved you. As I loved you. Amen. Some of us problem today is because of we have not loved our friends. We have not loved ourselves. Our blessings have been taken away from demons or devil because we have not loved each other. Because the love comes from the mind. And we thought that or we pretend as if we are happy even if the church. We pretend as if I would do things together. But Jesus Christ is telling us that we should what? Love each other. And when we love each other, then things begin to work according to the way we want it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to say one thing. I am not going to lose it this time around. I am not going to lose it this time around. I say, I'm not going to lose it this time around. I am not going to lose it this time around. I say, I am not going to lose it this time around. I am not going to lose it this time around. The understanding that God is bringing to you today, you are not going to lose it again. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because God is about to give you that understanding Amen. that will change your mind, that will put you in a right step so that you know what to do and begin to do it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is one thing to love. To say I love, but people don't do what they say. They pretend. Even in the church, I was speaking to one of the guy who just disappeared in the church recently. He said to me, Pastor, sometimes times what happened here one time to him was not what he expected. That the fault is uh, why he left is not because of me, but because of some of the brother, brethren, praise God. Hallelujah. Why? He said that is, they did not show him love. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, what we are talking about, if we want to build the right thing, maybe we want to build a church, we want to build our life, we need to do what? Show love to each other. Show love to each other. This is what God is speaking to us. This is what he is speaking to us today. We have to what? Love one another one another. Praise God. Say love one another. Love one another. Say love one another. Love one another. Say love one another. Love so one another. if your mind is not changed, you cannot receive new things. For example, now we have done the fast of 21 days. And we are hoping that God is com has confirmed it. And we are moving forward. But if you still begin to have that kind of old mind set, then you cannot move forward. Your blessing cannot be released. Praise God. So in the of the, 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 the John we read now, 15 verse 3, he said that now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abided in the vine. No more can you accept. No more can ye, except you abided in me. I am what the vine. Ye are what the branches. He 
that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye cannot what? Do nothing. He said, For without him, we cannot do nothing. That we should what? Abide in him. Who that abided in him, that is the person he will show love. And that is the person he will teach what he knows. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God wants us to do what? To abide in him and to what? To love one another. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If I go quickly to the number 16, he said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring what? Fourth fruits. And that your fruit should what? Remain. Amen. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may what? Give it to you. 17 concludes with saying that these things I commanded you that ye love one another. That means if we don't love one another, whenever we are asking God something, it cannot work. That's right. Praise God. That's what I'm, my understanding is telling me here. Praise God. He said, if we, for we to bring out fruit, that we have to do what? Love one another. He said, he has sent us to bring fruit. And not only to bring fruit, that our fruit will be what? Remain. So many people have gone to get fruit, but they cannot see the fruit. Some people always call me on phone when I'm on TV and say, Pastor, every time I got money, the money will just disappear. How the money left, you don't know. That is one thing that's by, by when you don't love one another, maybe that is his problem or her own problem. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he said that you have to go and get the fruit. But the fruit to remain, you have to do what? Love each other. Love your friends. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say, I will love my friend. I will love my Say, I will love my friend. I will love my Say, I will love my friend. Hallelujah. That means you have to now think to do different things the way you are not doing it before. Your mind have to both change. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So God is about to prepare you. Because after 21 days, we are not entering into another new month. That means it's a step to what? To you to enter into your what? Unending grace. Praise God. Hallelujah. So now you have finished the fasting. You have said. So we are talking about breakthrough. We are talking about financial breakthrough. We are talking about healings. We are talking about open doors. We are talking about job opportunity, business contact, contracts in every corner. This is the time. But if you have things that your mind is disturbing you, or maybe that you have not arranged it with your friend, your brother, or your sister, that means that is not going to come to pass. You see, there are fruits that you will bear fruit, and that your fruit what will also remain. Praise God. Your fruit will remain in Jesus' name. Amen. I say your fruit must remain in Jesus' name. Amen. I say your fruit must remain in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So because of that, I want to ask us a question. How can we bring forth our fruit and it will remain? How can we do it? What do we need to do? How are we going to do it? Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, that is a question today. How are we going to do that? First of all, number one, I put here, you have to what? You want holiness and what? Righteousness. Say with me, holiness, holiness. holiness. and righteousness. righteousness. Yes. For your fruits, for what your expectation may be to come to pass or begin to work or whatever you have got then to remain is what it has to be holiness and righteousness. That's why I want us to go to the book of Romans chapter Romans chapter 3. Praise God. And may Romans chapter 12. Romans 12 verse 1. Romans 12 verse 1. The word of God says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Amen. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. Which is your what? Reasonable service. I beseech you, you, my people, my people that you are hearing the sound of my voice, also present your bodies as what? A living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Your body must be, it's, it's a temple of God. So you have to present your body as a living sacrifice, as to receive the blessings of God that is about to release from today. Amen. You have to keep your 
yourself. You have to keep yourself holy and righteous. So that when the devil comes, he will not attack you because you are not in his own company. Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. When God has given you, he said, your body is the temple of Christ. So there is no way the devil can torment you because you equip yourself with righteousness, with holiness. So anywhere they come, you are there. Because the, 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 someone says, Christ is in me. Say with me, Christ is in me. Praise God. I remember that Nigerian film, they call Christ is in me. Praise God. So when Christ is in you, nothing happens. That's why I say, abide in me. Abide in me. So that you will bear good fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And number two is what? By, by what? By renewing of your mind. By renewing of your mind. By renewing of your mind. Remember, I said the topic of this today is what? Free your mind. Free your mind. That means for you to free your mind, you have to what? Renew your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I will free my mind. I will free my mind. Say, my mind will be free today. Jesus Christ. Amen. Renewing of your mind. And that's why I want us to disemble with Anna. Let us quickly read number two of that place. Can we read it together? Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise God. Be ye what? Transformed. Be ye what? Transformed. It don't have, it don't finish fasting 21 days and remain the same. Praise God. He don't, he don't pray to God and remain. You are, you are expecting something. He said, expectation can never be cut off. How? It can be cut off when you are not prepared. Praise God. Hallelujah. When your mind is not renewed, when you are not transformed. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to what, begin to think in another dimension, another way. So our perspective needs to change. Hallelujah. Amen. By renew your mind. Some of our mind is in the Bible said, as a man thinks, so he is. So something in your mind is calling you. Your sister is, you are not happy with your sister, but you can't even let go. You can't even let go. You can't even say, no, this is a mom. This time around, I have to love. I have to let go. So that new thing will open. So no, so a new thing will come. Because I know that God has already prepared all of you. And for you to move forward, your mind must be open. You have to be transformed. Amen. You have to renew your mind to be able to accept new things. Because I know that God is going to open those doors. Amen. God is going to give you a, a divine connection. God is not going to give you the contract you are waiting for. Amen. God is going to give you that marriage you are expecting for. God is going to open that door. If you know you are looking for pepper, whatever. Amen. If you are sick, God is going to heal you. Amen. He has already done it. So your mind has to be what? Open, prepare, you have to transform it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Say, I will transform my mind. Transform. Say, I will transform my mind. I will transform my mind. So you don't need to live the way you used to live. Mm. Your mind needs to be transformed. You have to think a different way. What is going on in my life? Why am I not moving forward? Of course, last uh, month, which was December, on the, uh, on the 31st, some people have given new, new year resolution. But if we check them now, they are not even working on their plan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because they don't know what to do. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why this fasting 21 days is to put you together. So that you prepare yourself. So that as God will begin to release his blessings, we begin to collect it one by one. Collect it, collect it, collect it. Amen. So we cannot come when your mind is the same old mind. Amen. So you have to let go. You have to let 2013 pass you. You have to let to let things that is holding you up a host day, to let you go. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So your mind must be focused on good things. Your mind, you see some people, because of the way they think, that's why they don't get any blessings. Amen. Because of what mind. So you need to what, renew your mind and come out of what? Those stagnations. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a being not confirmed to this world. What it does it mean? Because we are not only too much, too much in this face of the world. The things of the world they are doing, what the Bible meant about the things of the world is that those who are not living for Christ, we just want to do the 
the things the media is saying, the things they are saying everywhere. They just want to, what people will say. I don't want them to see me carrying Bible. I don't want them to see me saying I'm going to church. I don't want them to see, say, this is my pastor. I don't want them to say this or that. Hey! Be ye not confirmed of things of the world, but things of Christ. But the things that take you to another level, that the things that will take you to where you are going. Praise God. As a Christian, you must have a focus where you are going. If you are doing things of the evil ones, then you have to think about the worldly things. But when you are to God, you think about God things and doing it very effectively. So it can be proud and say, yes, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Yes, when the devil comes, the devil say, ah, no, he don't touch this person. Praise God. Because there is something in you. You don't think the way you think. You think God. You think Jesus Christ. Yes. Because you know that he is going to release your blessing. Amen. 21 days is not ordinary. Yes. Whether you fasted or not. But we are praying for everyone. So I know that God is going to release it. Yes. He's going to release your blessing. 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 Yes. He's going to give you that open door. Yes. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. By the renewing of your mind. Amen. Be not transformed Amen. to this world, but be ye transformed by the word renew of your mind. Amen. We need to change our attitude and be strong. I think when we say we now believe God, we focus on God, God releases his blessings. We don't have to be, you know, we are not with God, we are not with Satan, we just like this. No, straightforward. Whatever may be, let it be. Esther said, if I have to perish, let me perish, isn't it? Right. The, was she perished? No. She could not perish, but she was one promoted. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I see a promotion coming. Amen. I see a promotion coming. Amen. I see a promotion coming. I see a promotion coming. I see, I see a promotion coming. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. She stood and said, yes, if I have to perish, I don't want to know, but he just... Just, just, you know what I need from you. Just fast for me. Fast. I will eat myself fast with my people. And when I finish, I will just go, even though it is forbidden that no one comes to the king without an appointment, without a day, I will do it. If I have to do one, perish, I have to perish. Yes. Because her mind has told her, don't worry, do it. As long as I've fasted, as long as I've connected.